on that note, welcome, <laughs> welcome to an in conversation here at the magical Manvy Fat Newport. I'm joined by the Rhinosaurus, 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 Rhinosaurus from the lovely Biscoffin home with a great kit, lovely badge. Brian, good old scanner man. How's it going? Welcome. Thanks, mate. How are we? Living the dream. Yeah. It's Friday, isn't it? You know. That Friday for you. You get, you get you know, a couple of days off work and you get to play football. Oh, what would you do for work? I'm uh, I'm one of those people that's got a job title that sounds really exciting, but it's actually really boring. Because cool. I'm a procurement representative for a chemical manufacturer. That sounds magical. Yeah, it's not. I just sit in an office and place orders on people. Ah, and okay. When stuff well, doesn't I'm, turn I'm a manager of a football centre, but I sit on a laptop and play football manager. Yeah. I just hope my director don't see this. Yeah. <laughs> and you do the casting couch. I mean, uh, in conversation. Casting yeah. couch, mate. This couch. Yeah. I can see the stains. Yeah, they probably don't come out. Oh, well, well, ah. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got some some great men on this couch. <laughs> well, Bin, Bin's been on you with the Halloween. Well, you know. That was a don't, surprise. Don't get much better than that, really. No, you? no. I've never had the pleasure of being on you with two men at the same time. Though. Have you not? No. I've to, to sort that one out now, anyway. No. I'm yeah. sure if you can uh, get that's my, that's my That's my goal. That's my dream. Get Phil and Grant in here, you know. No. 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 Ruined commentary today. Did they? No, not having it. Uh, Phil didn't. Uh, Grant did. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Like well, you were hitting the way up in the corner and he just tried to, or I even tried to move it and just got followed and followed and followed. Yeah, yeah, shame. Anyway, enough about them. Yeah. Yourself. So, why did you join Manfy Fat, mate? Well, I kind of, well, I enjoy playing five aside football. I'm not, you know, svelte enough to play 11 aside, I wouldn't say. So, I played five aside on a Tuesday night for. Gotta be going 11 years now, pretty much every Tuesday. Oh, we too. Uh, we did play at the football factory until it burned down. Okay. And now we play at play over in Betis. What? I know, I know. My I was God. I knew that was coming. Why do I agree to do this? Sacrilege, innit? Oh, I know. I can't believe you'd swear at me on my own cage. I know. But I met, well, I met Phil through that. And uh, he posted about Man V Fat. And last November, I signed up for the personal trainer and all that business because I thought, I need to lose some, shift some timber here. Because I weighed myself and it was like the heaviest I'd ever been in my adult life. So that combined with having a son that's three this year, I thought, I don't really want my heart to explode when I get to like 60 and I'll be around for him and all that. So that with the old, just sort of wanting to lose weight, thought, enjoy playing five side, why not combine the two? Well, I, you can enjoy it better so don't fucking know. Yeah. I I wasn't in charge of booking it to be honest. We've got like a book in there that we've held for well since the football factory and come round but then we've held that book in so is that you've got space on a Tuesday night, I think, six o'clock. Yeah. Well make fucking space. Oh well there you go then. Might have a word. Can't believe that. I know. I knew it was like swearing at you. You'll have to bleep it out on your video. And welcome to the in conversation. <laughs> 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 so you've been how long have you been on the programme so far? Well, I signed up in December, I think, and then started this season, so... Okay, so you were brave enough then to... Oh, sorry, not brave enough, you were sensible enough to start after Christmas. I actually lost weight over Christmas, because oh, since, wow. since November last year, I've lost 16 kilos. As of Monday this week, 16 kilos, so we're looking at about two and a half stone. Mate, fair play to you. Because we lost our fair first play. game of the season due to all the... Is it Andrew with his nine kilo weight loss since last season? And I said to the boys, I was like, that's a shame. If I'd been there last season, I'd have had a seven and a half, so we might have got somewhere near him. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just, uh, just been trying to chip away at it. Still a incredible figure. Mm -hmm. Two of hit as well. Not yeah, so bad. You got a goal in mind? At the moment, about 120. 120 kilos is what I'm aiming for at the moment. Okay. Because <clears throat> I enjoy sort of strength training as well. So right. I've not got back into that yet. I'm trying to shift a bit of timber first and then get back into that gradually. Because I did, when I was <laughs> last on a weight loss journey, which I sort of came to the realization it wasn't really a weight loss journey. It was me just enjoying training, as in strength training, and then sort of fobbing off all the diet and 
sort of that side of it. So it was just as long as I could see my strength getting better, I didn't really, really care what was happening to my body, which is why this time around I've sort of tried to focus a lot more on the, I say cardio, but it's it's not so much cardio, it's just bringing the weight down. So it's not, I've completely avoided strength training this time because I know I would have got drawn back into that hole. So I'll probably get back into that now. Say if I get down to about 140, I shall start getting back into it because I've had enough consistency now to be in the mind frame of, right, the weight's still got to come down, but I can do this as well. So, oh man, quality. How are you finding sort of, do you make any changes, you know, since you've been on program in terms of like the way that you eat um, or what you eat? Have you changed much in that? To be honest, I've got a, like I say, I've got a personal trainer, well. he's, a, he's sort of like an online coach who I did, I was like real world training with him at one point. And I think when I was training with him originally, before obviously the world fell apart at the start of 2020, when I was real world training with him, I had lost about five or six kilos with him. So it was going well. And then obviously everything fell apart. He had to transition to online training. I wasn't really sure if it was for me, but then I was sort of in my head thought, well, when I was with him, it was when I was losing. So it makes sense to get back with him again. So he provides guidance on like calorie intake and things like that. But I know a lot of people go, oh, I need to go on a diet. And I'm like, mm, you don't need to. It's all about like calorie deficit. So if I want to eat something, I'll eat it. And then I just account for it in the day then. So like okay. we, um, like last month or two months ago now, because it's April now, aren't we? Ooh, first of April, exciting. We went to Hills up in Brecon for my missus' birthday, which is like an unreal burger bar right there. So I just accounted for that earlier in the day, had like a lighter lunch, a lighter breakfast, made sure I stayed in the calories, so you sort of work it out as best you can when you're at a place like that. Okay, do you have three meals a day? Yep. Always? Yep. Always three meals a day. I have snacks throughout the day as well, like fruit or maybe like a protein bar or something. So. I'm at the, at the moment, I'm sat at about 2,200 calories and I'm still losing pretty much every week, so. What was you this week? What was, was you doing? Uh, 1.7 this week, so. Quality. Everyone I'm asking seems to be a lot. I lost 1.6 this week. I was looking forward to being on team of the week and everyone I've asked have been above me, you know. What the heck? Everyone's just in it. Corruption, <laughs> utter corruption. <laughs> no, I, I like, I think a big thing for me as well was sort of, neat exercises they call it which is like the i think it's like non-exercise active thermogenics or something but they call it neat which is essentially just exercise that doesn't exert you sort of like walking or riding a bike or whatever just getting out mm -hmm. and i've been doing that a lot more so obviously i focus on my steps now so it's like i need to get my seven and a half in every day that i try to do if i don't do it one day i try and make sure i boost the next day up so like today now i went for a walk when I finished work, went for a walk with my missus and my kid, and that got my steps going. So now I'm up to like 9,000 because Wednesday this week was pants because I was sat for six hours having a tattoo, so. Oh, what tattoo did you have? And the one down on the front of my leg there. So. What is it? It's a character from Destiny called Cade Six, but it's unofficially who my son's named after. Because my son's called Caden, and uh, my missus was like, you wouldn't want to call him that because you're all gonna shorten it to Cade, aren't you? And I was like, no. And she's ended up doing it herself. She calls him Kate now. She's like, so it was sort of like, I didn't want to get a tattoo that was just like his name or something or his day of birth. I wanted to try and think something that fitted my character a bit better as well. Cause I've got Iron Man on the back of that egg as well. So it was just sort Iron of, Man. yeah, it just sort of went in with that. So. That's how my boy says it. Iron Man. Yeah. Spider-Man! Yeah, mine's obsessed, Spider -Man. With, mine's obsessed with it at the moment. Black Panther and Spider-Man at the moment. Obsessed. You're great, Mustafa. I'm loving the shorts. I asked yeah, you last week yeah. to wear them again this week because they're electrifying yeah, without no pudding. Yeah. They, they, look, they look fabulous. I did, yeah, I went into Clever. Uh, <laughs> maybe if you play your cards right, mate, you never know. I can turn the camera off. Well, you know, you can camera on if you want. There's websites you can make money from. I don't know what ones with us, This is not only scanned. It's all right. It's all right. No, the, um, we went in, we was like, oh, Rugby Heaven in Karan popped in there. And I was browsing through shorts because I managed to get a split right in the front of my other one. So I was like, you do shorts, can't be worn around in them, really, can I? 
as soon as I picked these up, my other half went, you're going to buy them, aren't you? I was like, what do you mean? She was like, they're stupid, so you're going to buy them. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what makes you think that? She was like, just look at your car. And I was like, fair point, well made. Yeah, okay. What do you drive? I drive a Focus ST, but it's the white one with all the silly graphics on it. You might have seen it. I don't know like, what it means. It's, um, I, I, I'm an absolute it's got, like, it cars. it's got like a pattern at the side of it. It's like black, grey and like hot pink. It's like a white focus with like ridiculous patterns on it. I had that done. My missus was like, what's that? And I was like, ah, probably an early midlife crisis or something. I don't know. Always wanted a car with graphics on, so I thought, why not? Went for it. I'm a massive man. Is, is it cool? I think it looked cool. They don't fucking care why anyone else thinks. Hmm. You're the one that's driving it. Exactly. I don't care. I'm going to go and have a look. Is it here? Yeah. I'm going to go and have a look afterwards. Yeah, I, I might even take the camera out and show yeah, everyone. Do it. Do you mind? No. Oh, well, we'll keep it rolling. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go and have a look at, at the, the Brynocerus. The Br Brynocerus. Funny enough. Why yeah. Brynocerus? Why I don't know. Why do you Brynocerus? It's, like it's on the back of his shirt, by the way. Yeah, it's like Brynocerus, isn't it? But yeah, but you're not Brynocerus. No. I was going to, um, because I, I do, like, occasionally do the online streaming thing, and my one on that is a terrible Sorry, pun. What do you want on stream? Just video games. Not ah, stream. okay. Nothing exciting, me. Okay. Yeah. I was getting excited. There'll be time. But yeah, and my, my one for that is uh, Brian I'll Pay Later. Because, you know, terrible Brian A Pay Later? Yeah. Brian A Pay Later. Yeah, terrible <laughs> pun. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> that is amazing! So, Brian A Pay Later. Yeah. So that's all. You my sure it's someone gaming? Well, you know. The slogan like that? I think I've claimed it on pretty much every website there is to claim it on, including that one that you're thinking of. What? Okay. I, I'm not thinking of anything. Oh, right, okay, then. Never mind. <laughs> it's not one specific because there's too many options. Oh, uh, right, what, okay. what sort of games do you play? Uh, my big one, obviously, Destiny. That's why I've got a tattoo of it. There's a website called How Much Time Have You Wasted in Destiny? And I think my last count was about 1,400 hours. So, yeah, I play that a little bit. How many seconds is that? I tried to think. <laughs> Somebody to think. put in the, the chat comments below. <laughs> How many seconds in has he really got in yeah, 1,400 yeah. hours? Because yeah. somebody will sit there and work it out for us and we'll greatly appreciate it. If you do, uh, we'll enter you into a free prize draw for Lamborn Coffee Co. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. If you don't drink the coffee, well, I, I, I think as um, Phil was saying earlier, if you don't drink the coffee, you're a bitch. Yeah. And if you've got, like, you know, an allergy to caffeine, he's got a decaf one and everything. A decaf you know, one. I think he's got a decaf. bigger bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, I did all the uh, old online streaming thing because we used to do obviously a lot of Destiny, and there's <clears throat> there's a massive community for it, and there's what they call like end game activity in the form of raids, which are like six player activities, okay. and they don't do matchmaking or anything, so you have to have a team before you go in, and a lot of the community used to be solo or double players that would struggle to find teams, so we started. A clan at one point called the Sherpa Base, and we would literally like Sherpa people through these like end game activities, okay. teach them the mechanics, teach them where to go, when to be there, etc., etc. You're like a proper expert at this. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say a proper expert, but we used to. I think we worked it out at one point, and between the group of us that we had doing it, we'd Sherpa about. I think it was like eight hundred people through, so we were just yeah. Making sure these people so are in the fourteen hundred hours, if you sherp at eight hundred people, yeah. on average, how many seconds is it per sherp? Yeah, yeah, if we can have that in the comments <laughs> below, that'll be. But yeah, we always entered into a free prize draw for Lambo and Coffee yeah. Co. <laughs> that's what we thought. We always because you always see these players, and we, you'd be like, "Oh, what's your favorite like raid or whatever?" And they'd be like, "Oh, I haven't done anything because we haven't got a team." And we'd see so many of those, we'd just be like, "Okay, right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna help these people and just get them through these things." So. Yeah. But. I'm gonna end because you you play Destiny. Yeah. So you're a fan of Destiny. I am. What is your destiny? Oof, that's a big question. So get down to 120 kilos is the sort of short term goal. Yeah. My um long term goal, if I get back into the strength training side of things, I say if when. Because it will happen. I got a barbell at home and everything. It was weird. Um, is what they call the three-two-one. So it's like a three-plate squat, two-plate bench, and then one plate overhead. 
so it's like 20 kilos on a plate obviously so it's like sort of like 60 overhead okay however many on the bench and then so the squat i was actually doing because i was a big old boy at one i think i was weighed like 161 kilos at one point so i was squatting like 160 last time i sort of sacked off the gym anyway so the three plate was there but my bench is awful and i can do the overhead so it's the bench that i need to so that's my sort of goals at the moment get down to the 120 and then sort of get back to my strength training but i just want to feel better in myself as well because i've noticed recently like my favorite pair of shorts i can no longer put my phone and my wallet in my pocket i can either put one or the other in because it weighs them down too much and they'll fall down because i've lost too much weight Wait, hey. so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah trying to get to the stage where i can actually shop in the high street is a big one as well yeah because yeah if you go into a shop and it's like oh unless they've got like 3xl or above i'm like because this is probably the tight and fittest t-shirt i own and i just if i'm wearing a tight t-shirt in public i'm one of those you don't, look, you don't look that tight on your no i know but I'm one of those that's always like pulling at it and you're like because mm. you know self-conscious you have just played so you want, I have, you, yeah. you want to be quite hot and stick into your yeah, little restroom but don't generally don't look at that bad no, at all but it's Who just knows? yeah like going into anywhere like you know the old pre-money as they call it go in there go Primark or whatever and you're just trying to find clothes in there like I ain't got a chance in here really like so I think it'd be my like I say, it is 120 kilos because I think if I get down to that and I look at myself, I'll be a bit more happy just looking at myself in a mirror type thing because I'm quite tall. I'm like 6'2 or whatever. I, and I've got a big... How, how tall is your mirror? I you know, full length body. You know. <laughs> I've got one of the IKEA jobbies on a wardrobe. But I'm like, I've got a big old head on me as well, so I can't get too skinny because I look like a bobblehead, don't I? No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Talking about putting me on the spot. <laughs> no. No, I get down to like I think I get down to one twenty, and I'm a bit like, oh, there's a bit more I could do here. I'll take it then, sort of a, every five at a time or whatever, or every two and a half at a time. So that's my yeah. Just lose weight, come down here and enjoy myself. Get more into the social side of this as well, because I try to sort of stay involved in the WhatsApp group or whatever, but. I've already pre-warned my uh, other half that on the 10th when we have our internal game she's going to be dropping me off here afterwards when we have the awards. So we're going to have a couple of beers with everybody. You're going to be like joining that. the ginger ball session on the 16th of April? What on earth is that? I've never even... If it's not in Spawn, mate, I don't know about anything, do I? What would you say to anyone who's joining Man V Fat? Anyone? If you're considering it, just do it. Because, they, honestly... You won't meet a better group of people than the lads out of there, to be honest. They're all so supportive. Like, as soon as you turn up here, you obviously go in the changing rooms, you weigh in or whatever. As soon as you go out there, the first thing people are asking you, like, oh, how'd you do? Like, how's your weight? And you're like, fair play. Everybody's really supportive of each other. If your weight's gone up, they're a bit like, oh, it's all right. These things happen. You'll get it next time. If it's gone down, they're like, smashed it. So even like playing during the games and stuff, everybody, even the opposition team, I don't think there's ever a game where you'll walk off and you won't sort of high five or fist bump every player and the ref on and off the pitch. So, yeah. It's uh, a, you were talking about the ref before we started recording. You definitely what? Sorry, I wasn't meant to say that. Was I? You say sorry, you sorry, no. Respect the ref. <laughs> yeah, do respect the ref. Respect the ref. It's, it's, a, it's a terribly hard job. Yeah, they're not all bad. Even Howard Webb, respect him as well. Howard Webb was my biggest fan. <laughs> Twelfth man. Twelfth man. Our biggest fan. Yeah. Best manager we ever had. Exactly. <laughs> Better than fucking Moise. We need him back. Cleverly. Right? Sorry to say, it's Moise. Oh, man. That guy. That guy. And now look at him at West Ham. It's infuriating. Gotta give, that's the problem, see? The problem with Man United is we turned into this sort of club that like Chelsea were a little bit when they were changing managers. They weren't letting anyone settle in. No. If you're not reaching the targets, you're going. But you've got to let them build their team. And, and Ollie was doing it. But then he didn't. So the problem was it was too much wrong at the team. Yeah. But you look at the team that Fergie won his last title with, and you look at that and you're like, you had no right. It was you the had, oldest team yeah. that won the league with, I believe. You had absolutely no right to win the league with. Ridiculously old team. Yeah, playing like Valencia. But he had the back. fear factor, and I would have thought that somebody like Mourinho would have brought the fear factor in. But he might have done it in the wrong manner. 
Based on the way I see he was treated a couple of players, Pogba especially. I don't know if it's just that. He's he got I think Mourinho got undone by Pep a bit, didn't he, when they were sort of out in Spain together. So I think when he Mourinho was good when he burst onto the scene, but then yeah. I think over time he was playing the same way every single yeah. time. He was new he was sort of the new way of playing football, wasn't he? And then everybody started to play that way and then everybody started to surpass him. So I think Pep sort of outshone him in Spain. Is Pep so, Guardiola a better man than Sir Alex Ferguson? No. No? No. I'm not talking Premier League, I'm talking general football in... No. Because you look at what Pep wins things with, you look at the teams, and they're all superstars. Now and again, you'll get somebody that has potential and he'll mould them. But you look at the things that... Look at the teams that Fergie used to win things with. So if... Fergie and Pep mm -hmm. had a season at so we'll use Everton as a prime example mm -hmm. who would finish higher in the league with the squad that they've currently got who will play the better football Fergie really? yeah Fergie undoubtedly was a phenomenal sort of tactician but you look at because Pep when has he ever played or managed anywhere really that didn't have a world class team already set up for him to well Fergie built a world class team when he was That's even I mean. the last win, even the last team that we had that won the league was it was an old team it was still a very classy team a, yeah it was a good team but did it have any right to win that league that year when it did Fergie never bought the Premier League no where I think Chelsea when they got took over by Abramovich took over us because of that like you know, my City come into some money Newcastle do you remember Newcastle win the league I think they will point? I think they will yeah. give mm -hmm. them a few Within the next five seasons? No. No? I think give them that amount of time to start building a squad, and if they don't build it, earn St. Maximum. The problem is, though, how much money are you going to have to spend to build a squad? Well, it's because they don't, they got that Bruno Gamaris, and they got him dirt cheap, even though they just come into all that money, didn't they? And he looks at... I think they'll be clever with it. I think they'll get a Kieran Trippier for what 14 now? Yeah. I think they'll get very 14 good players 14 now for an English player to come back to the Premier League after that Madrid that just won the league out in Spain after Madrid stupid I think they'll do good business because I mean I you think, look at I know I they've think people's prices on players have got Newcastle come knocking they know they've got money I know City have just like they've started to pay stupid prices but they never used to pay huge sums of money they just saw I think it, the thing is though like I think it's a case of I don't know how it works because if a player sort of, if you go into a transfer and you go into a club and you pay mm -hmm. you know say you offer I gonna I want Grant Morgan for a Mars back yeah and Grant Morgan goes to you and says I want to leave you're accepting this bid regardless of the cost of it but you as a club want to say well no I want four Mars bars mm -hmm. I wouldn't offer you four Mars bars for Grant no I well, understand do you reckon that's got a factor do you reckon the players will know when bids are yeah, I don't think it's are they ever saying it I don't think that it depends on their contracts I'd imagine because it'll be obviously you get release clauses and things like that but I know there's been ridiculous clauses in contracts over the years haven't they so it could be yeah. a case of for example say Madrid came in for David De Gea he could have a clause in his contract now that says if they offer you anything above 50 you have to accept it this could be why because you always see them you're like I know Bruno Fernandes has just signed his contract extension now for one year with the option of an extra one that has taken months and it could be because they were ironing out so many of those little clauses like that you never know what's in their contracts now do you so yeah I think it depends I do wonder, I do wonder. It, it does depend on that it'd be interesting to maybe not read one of their contracts in full because I wouldn't understand it I don't know about you but seeing you know, I, 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 I would never read the Bible seeing the sort of things that they request would be quite interesting I think a Mocachino on arrival please yeah. somebody to open the door he's got to have something haven't he he's got to have had something special put into his contract after all he's done for him over the last two or three seasons maybe if they finally sell Slabhead he's got to be captain or something oh <laughs> sell him <laughs> and shoot him <laughs> anyway thank you for your time all, right, all the best for the rest of your journey slash destiny <laughs> and I look forward to catching up with you in the future see you again thank you very much